Welcome back to Roops to another video. I'm Craigs and I'm going to be reviewing the HD Resident Evil Collection which is Resident Evil Remake HD and Resident Evil Zero HD. I'll review them in turn. I was going to do separate videos and I thought, you know what? This is an actual one disc collection. You can download them separately off the stores but nah, I think I'll just do them for the one video. And I will do them in turn. I'm going to start off with Zero and then move my way to Resident Evil Remake. Probably one of the best remakes of all time and we'll dive into that when we get to it. So, without further ado, Resident Evil Zero folks. Right, so Resident Evil Zero, here we go. Didn't like it all that much. Thought it was okay. Better than Code Veronica. Fuck that game. Fuck Code Veronica. Bastard real fucking spawning zombies, cunts. Bollocks! Anyway, so this was quite a different take on the Resident Evil genre when it first dawned us because there were a few Resident Evil games deep by this point and this came out no long after, or I don't know how long after, but it came out after Resident Evil Remake, right? Biggest change was there was no mere fucking item boxes, you had to drop shit where you stood, so if you ran out of space, you like, well fuck. That that's that's about the fucking size of it. So boom, down it goes on the floor. And you're cutting about with your partner, and you can swap between them at any time you like. Quite like that actually. But I'd rather have my item boxes and know where <coughs> Beltar and know where everything is. So you get fucking. The good thing about this is, is that you can go into the map and it'll tell you exactly where your shite is, but you're like, fuck's sake, I now need to backtrack through fucking arid desert, fucking Amazon rainforest, zombie infested swamps. Um, I had a wee bit of flight of fantasy here to this, but, well, it's a fucking zombie game with baboon things in it. And you fight a tyrant after the, ah, oh, fucking, oh, I don't know. I don't know, the puzzles are shite, you know. I get stuck in the puzzle just before the train section was up and it's like you need to put in these numbers, you need, you need to add up to a fucking to a, a total and I thought cool so I'm adding them up to the total and I get the first gen and then the second one the screen's buggered so it's like well how the fuck am I meant to know it? FUCK THIS FUCKING GAME MAN I DON'T LIKE IT IT'S CRAP IT LOOKS NICE THOUGH BUT IT'S CRAP the gunplay was just fucking Resident Evil, it's just like a box. If it wasn't for the shitey fucking puzzles, which... The more I grew up, and the more I come out of like, games being a game, I mean, Resident Evil was designed as like a Mario video game or something like that. Wasn't it designed with realism in mind, you're like... You go through this fucking mansion, going through this train doing these puzzles, you're like... Who the fuck set all this up? Mr. Wesker did. Oh, he's a dick. He can lick my fucking donut. Like my hoop, you prick. So I don't, I don't like Resident Evil Zero, right? And here's, here's, here's. That's just why, because it's fucking annoying. I don't like the camera angles anymore. I'm maybe getting too old to play these games. I feel somewhat similar towards Resident Evil Remake, although it's, um, it's better than this. I, I mean, you can, I'd say buy it, but you'll get it with the package if you get the disc, right? So. You're probably just, just, just buy it, right, and play it and make up your own mind, but I'm just telling you, I think it's pish. I think it's boring. And I think some of the enemy placements are fucking the most ridiculous I've ever fucking seen in my fucking life. You're on a fucking train, so you go to the top part of a car, like a lounge car where they serve meals and shit, right? What comes through the fucking, what comes through the ceiling? What do you think would come through the ceiling at you? Maybe a flying creature? Hi, cool. Maybe even a tyrant walking along the top of the train or something similar. No, a giant scorpion. I was like, oh, what the fuck is this? And then it batters you and it fucking smacks you for fucking... Oh, I fucking hate this game. It's fucking shit. But people are like, I love Resident Evil Zero. That's the nostalgia talking in your fucking brain. That's what that is, troops. Nostalgia will lie to you. They'll tell you that Final Fantasy VII... Was a good game. It was the. It was shit. So in the end up, I give this zero out of bananas, with a cheeseburger that's been lying for three weeks. If you're curious about it, pick it up. You'll pay buttons for it. 
But just know this, if you're picking this up as part of the, the, the package, the HD Origins Collection, just know that you're not buying it for zero. You're really buying it for the better game. And we'll talk about that now. Yankee Doodle Dandy! And now we move on to the better of the two games in the package. Resident Evil HD Remake. So it's a re it's an HD remake of a remake of an original game. Yes. I've had three sips of beer and I'm fleeing with it. A wan can dan type of man. No, I mean, I'm only joking. It is Desperados and it is fucking delicious. Excuse me while I indulge slightly here, okay? Now, I'm not your everyday type of YouTuber, reviewer type ballbag. I date my own wee funky way, right? And which pretty much means I make an arse of it, but I date with a lot of fun. I keep hitting the fucking mic here. That'll probably come through in the recording, but anyway, we'll talk about Resident Evil Remake HD, Remake HD, HD Remake, yeah. So this is the better of the two games in the package, and it is a complete and utter remake of the first game, the original game. Which came out in 1995. I don't know when this one came out. It was the early 2000s. It was a GameCube exclusive for quite a while. Then it eventually got ported to the Wii and it got ported to the Xbox 360 and PS3 and PC. But then it got ported to Xbox One and PS4. We just got to make their buck, you know what I mean? I don't begrudge them. Some folk don't have the access or they weren't old enough. When these games originally came out, and then when the original remake came out, and then when the original HD remake came out, and then when the re-release original HD remake came out, it might be the people's only chance to really get a hold of the game, so... I don't moan. People moan, oh, there's too many remasters, there's loads, I'm not gonna lie, there's fucking hours, but see, see when you, you, you boil it down and you think about it, you don't have to buy them. It's it's no big deal, it really isn't a big deal, and I'd, I quite like getting these games... In, a, in one package with the DLC and all the extra added on bits and bobs on the one disc, boom, up with the, the resolution, frame rate's better sometimes. So I don't mind these things. They really some ad per nausea, you don't need to fucking buy it. But everyone's like, oh, you know what, we've got a comfort food thing going on with video games and I know I have as well, so I'll tend to play what I know more than I'll play what's new on my shelf. I've got hundreds of games sitting there still in the rat, and probably about 60 to 70 odd games. What an arsehole I am. It's alright, feel free to tell me I'm an arsehole, I know I am. I buy them cheap, or I'll just fucking buy them and forget about them. We might be talking about Resident Evil here. Um, so, ground up remake, they've expanded everything, there's new areas, there's new enemies, there's a new boss, which I didn't actually really like all that much. So the new enemies are the, well, from what I can remember, I've not played the full game through in quite some time, are the Crimson Head Zombies, which I fucking detest. So you'll encounter normal zombies through the mansion, you'll pop a few and they'll fall down, you'll get fuel, and you're like, what the fuck's that fuel for? And you're like, well, the fuel's for burning the corpses, but of course there's not enough fuel for every zombie in the place. So you're either going to have to kill them and burn them, kill them, burn them and leave them and wait till they turn into a bigger, much bigger threat, or uh, avoid them entirely so they don't turn into crimson heads. But then you need to fucking know what's coming around the corner, and this is the issues I'm having with the game, is that I, I can't, I don't like the camera angles anymore, they don't gel with the way I play games, everything's third person now. See if Capcom would be darlings and sweethearts and just brilliant, release a patch for these games that lets you have a third person camera. Because the levels are all 3D anyway, it's just a camera perspective you're changing. Surely that's doable. Must be, somebody will mod that in, make a, make a really good game out of it, and then I'll not be able to play it because it'll be PC only. So they've got expanded areas here, you've got, you've got a graveyard at the back of the house you never had. There's a cabin, like like um, Evil Dead, with that new boss character in it that I don't like. Lisa Trevor, her name is, she's like this experiment went fucking wrong and became invulnerable to like Everton, so don't bother shooting it, I'll just get out of the road. But her, her hands are all hooked up and you do eventually defeat her but it's kind of stupid, I think. But I'll, I'll save that till if you actually buy the game and I'll tell you what you're doing. Ha <laughs> I know something you don't know. Um, what else? All your big set pieces at the bits with the shark, 
towards the end of the middle or middle end of the game all been redone it all looks amazing it's like fuck it's just the way I, you'd, I'd rather it was because everything was like blocking it all looked like total shite in the original when you compare it obviously not when you first get Resident Evil original when I first got it in the PS1 I didn't even have a memory card memory cards were a fond concept to me so we were playing this game with nay fucking memory card getting towards the end and dying you're like you start again folks it was only a three year game it's not that bad really but if you make a, a wrong turn or you just forget what you're doing and you run headlong into an enemy it can be a fuck up and a half and then you end up paying for it with hours worth of gameplay it's only a three hour game if you know how to speed run the bastard right it's not a three hour game for your normal people more like a nine hour game so I've only ever completed Resident Evil remake once and that's when I had it on GameCube and it took me nine hours just a normal run. I was they trying to run fast? I was just trying to enjoy the game. I don't do speed runs. I can't be bothered. I like to, I like to look around every nook and cranny and go, what the fuck's in here? What, what does that cobweb hold? Don't shine, fucking spider! You're dead. And then I, oh Jesus! And you, you'll get defensive items as well. So if you get caught with a zombie, and you've got a defensive item. It'll be a knife or something like that, and you'll pop it in the neck. Why does it just? Pop it in the head and kill it outright, I'll never know. Don't know, can I answer that? There's costumes in this release of the game, this is the Xbox One X version I'm, I'm looking at. And you've got Jill's original costume, and you've got a Resident Evil 5 costume, and you've got a BSAA costume, and fucking hell. So this is, I, the gameplay I've got is me cutting about in a BSAA costume. I don't know, I don't know why I did that, I should have the original ones. The original and best, you know. Which does pop up in the Resident Evil 3 remake as well. So I said it's, it's a good game, but it's just it's 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 no let down. I let it down, but no been able to play very well with these camera angles. I was saying, Capcom, please release a patch. Let it be a third. I don't want it remade again. There's no point. There's no need for that. You just need a camera perspective change. Surely you can do it. Surely it can be done. Make my life a lot, well, a lot more easier and fun. Well, I want to thank everybody for coming along once again. This has been an experience for old Cragster, as always. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video, whenever that'll be. Adios, amigos!